This morning, many Americans and hundreds of millions of people all across Asia are celebrating the Lunar New Year, beginning the Year of the Ox. In China, the COVID pandemic has changed the traditional rush of people who normally flood back to their hometowns to reunite with relatives for a whole week. Remy Innocencio is in Beijing for us, where many are trying to decide, do I stay or do I go? For Sun Jai, she went. The writer hopped a new high-speed train from Beijing with her boyfriend 700 miles south to her dad waiting at her hometown station outside Shanghai and her mom at home. <laughs> For Chen Yuanyuan, she stayed. The musician solo this Chinese New Year at her family's four-bedroom home in Beijing, sticking to government suggestions. She stays connected to her parents by video. Since last April, they've been in their hometown, about 500 miles south. Her brother is in Boston. So how do you feel? Well, I, of course, feel really lonely and kind of sad. But Chinese has a um, term that 来日方长. That means the future is long and we will have more time. It's OK that we are not together this time. Chinese New Year is like Thanksgiving, Christmas, and Western New Year all rolled into one. That is just how important this holiday is. Here at Beijing Central Railway Station, this place should be teeming with thousands of people rushing to get home. This year, not so much. Inside, workers spray disinfectant, the smell of bleach rising from the floors as people scan their tickets, then faces to board their trains. People returning to their ancestral homes in the countryside have to spend two weeks in quarantine and pay for their own COVID tests. People from low-risk areas, which is most of China, are urged to stay home. As incentives, Beijing has given out shopping coupons and free cell data, and many cities are giving free money in pay-to-stay programs. One Shanghai company is giving nearly $500 to employees. Sun Jai, now reunited with her parents, wishes her dad good fortune, but admits traveling is a risk. If I'm back, well, my family has a risk of being affected. She did a rapid COVID test and got a negative result, and the pressure from family and thousands of years of tradition is hard to deny. People should try their best to come home, said her mom. Outside the Forbidden City, Yuan Yuan says she feels more tourists are in Beijing than in past New Year's. I asked her parents if they're sad she's not coming home. Her mom laughs and says, no, it's okay. The most important thing is to be safe. The past year of COVID has pushed some to keep tradition with family and others to break them by staying away. This is the choice in China for the new year of the ox. But despite all those restrictions and incentives, hundreds of millions of Chinese are still traveling across China for this Lunar New Year holiday. It's just so hard to keep family away from family. The good news is that COVID is mostly under control here, unlike in the United States. But if we see a surge in the coming few weeks, we'll know why. Anthony? Remy Innocencio in Beijing, thank you. Looks very different than Mardi Gras. Sure does, yeah. yeah.